Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have a DAC-28 in the tier 10 sniping uh, German medium tank, the Leopard 1. So DAC is going to go with a Bond gun rammer, hardening actually in the uh, survivability slot, and Bond vents with a lot of gold, as you can see a lot of gold rounds. Um, the Leopard 1 actually has pretty nice regular rounds as well. It has 278 millimeters of APCR pen, but if you go with the gold, 323 millimeters of penetration. Um, DAX28 is actually a streamer, content creator. I will link the channels, the YouTube, the Twitch, everything in the description below. So go and check them out after this replay. But yeah, Leopard 1. This vehicle is just so much fun to play. It's fast. It is like the highest. Uh, top speed of any tier 10 medium tank with 70 kilometers an hour top speed um, Power to weight is pretty nice 20 21 ish around those areas, which makes this vehicle very mobile The most accurate gun at tier 10 of any medium tank with 0.29 dispersion base so like that is that is Very accurate tank destroyer stuff, right? Um, but yeah mobility Good gun, a lot of pen, 420 alpha damage. This vehicle is just very fun to play. Even if you want to be aggressive, you can do that as well because of the snipiness of the gun that you can just hit stuff like this, right? You can get into position, hit Capolas easily, but unfortunately, you do need to watch out and actually bounce the shell of the 50M. Uh, but the Leopard 1 has no armor. Like, if, if you bounce something, you need to thank RNG, right? This is not a vehicle that's going to bounce anything. It's not a vehicle that can use its armor, but you have amazing mobility, amazing gun, and that is uh, pretty much all you need with this vehicle. So, DAC is uh, going all in, right? As you can see, we have the very nice equipment. We have the gold rounds, but that is because I believe they're trying to get 100% on the marks on their Leopard. Um, if I remember correctly, they do have three marks already. Already th there we go. Have the three marks already, as you can see. The rings on the gun right underneath me over there. Ooh -hoo. Um, but HE runs into the FE, doing a lot of damage over here. Actually, has amazing HE runs as well. 105 penetration with 510 damage. So, if you do want to, you know, min and max your damage, stuff like that, you want to go all in, you do need to take quite a few of those HE rounds just in case, you know, light tanks, um, lightly armored mediums, FVs as well. Those can add up quite nicely, as you can see, to over 900 damage uh, with those two HE rounds against the FE-4205. But yeah, trying to go for the 100%, so hopefully, hopefully got the 100% deck after this battle, which you're going to uh, hopefully enjoy, right? So yeah, why did I actually want to feature the Leopard? My goodness, I was going on about how awesome the Leopard is, because it's actually one of my favorites um, at tier 10. I love the mobility, I love the gun, and there we go, I'm just going <laughs> going on and on about the Leopard. Uh, but I wanted to show the Leopard today because it's actually the most played tier 10 vehicle in the last 30 days. Which was very surprising, I thought it was going to be some overpowered heavy, uh, maybe a tank destroyer or something, like the Minotauro. You have the Super Conqueror that is, that is very popular, the 60 TP, which is very popular as well. But no, it's actually the Leopard, and the most surprising thing is second place is the FV-4205. You know that uh, sniping barn, right? Chonky barn is actually the second most played tier 10 vehicle in the last 30 days. So I was really surprised looking at those things. Into the side of the Crown Vine, easy, unfortunately Super Conqueror does get through the turret over here. Like I said, no armor. Um, but yeah. Why is this vehicle the most played at tier 10? Hopefully you'll be able to see today, right? With the lovely, lovely game the deck is going to have over here. Hopefully. Hopefully, not going to spoil anything. Anything, uh, nothing is going to be spoiled over here. <clears throat> but the deck went west. Nothing was over there. Right, they got the shots into the, the FVs, the 50M. But now when the 50M is hauled down, um, the E4 advances as well. You don't really want to, to trade shells, you don't want to exchange hits with your enemies because there will be times you don't pen, even with a lovely pen and uh, yeah, the chances of the enemy bouncing, like the 50M did, are very low. I wouldn't actually you know, recommend you try to do something like that. Okay, VK, can you please let us go forward? Thank you, my lovely. 
Thank you, my lovely. <laughs> giving him a. I don't, the, what, what, what is happening over here? Like, do, do you want the position? Or do you try? I'm trying to get the VK out of the. I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening over here. But uh, yeah, it does. Oh my goodness, that was almost a chunky boy shell from the 100 into the side of DAC over here. You definitely don't want to get hit by the big gun of the 100, right? 750 damage into you is. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> not something you would like to have. Uh, but yeah, Deck and their team are down by two vehicles, down by 7,000 hit points. So we, do, we definitely need to start doing stuff, right? Time to do stuff over here. And Deck is going to do just that and catch the 50M in the side, finish off. The, the ramming tier 10 German medium tank, right? It's kind of like the Leopard 1 is your your sniper, your mobile, kind of sneaky and cheeky uh, German medium. Then you have the E50M, which is... Oh, I, I press W when I ram stuff. <laughs> it's it's completely different. I really like um, that playstyle as well, by the way. If you go for a ram build on the 50 m it can actually be very fun. Very memey, and uh, if you if you join some of our streams, then yeah, you will know how much I enjoy memeing. One to the side of the mouse. Just look at the hit points, though. The hit point difference: nine thousand hit point difference. Trying to go through the upper part of the Japan's Panzer trying to definitely doing that with a three hundred and twenty-three. Was it? My goodness, three hundred twenty-three millimeters of pen. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, three hundred twenty-three millimeters of APCR penetration. On tier 10 medium. Crazy, crazy stuff. Deck is up to 3,000 damage almost, but this is like almost 10,000 hit point deficit right now. Down by five vehicles. What, what is this team going to do? We do have TDs towards the northeast. Right, have a couple of FVs, a grill. If Dak can just spot those heavies and let the, the chunky boy FV gun do its thing, this game can change very easily. But... Is the FV actually going to hit? Is he going to pen? All of that and more. Soon TM, right? Waiting. Trying to, to have an ambush on those heavies. Unfortunately, the FV is trying to go forwards. <clears throat> I don't think that is the right decision. Um, I do not agree with that. The FV has awful camera rating. They've got the 277 spot. You're going behind the bush, as you should. If you go into the bush, you can spot to go behind the bush and then you fire. You retain the camo from the bush. So, like... If you find yourself in a situation like this, go into the bush. There we go. A bit more, a bit more maybe. Just to get the spot, as you can see, the 277 disappeared because Dak didn't go all the way into the bush. Into the bush, he gets spotted. Fall back behind the bush. Put one into the side of the 277. And now we can just, you don't need to go into the bush. It's a kill shot. Easy peasy. Into the side of the 277. Shutting down that tier 10 Russian heavy tank. Okay, so... Mouse in the middle. Unfortunately, the Super Conqueror shuts down the FV towards the northeast after getting spotted by the Centurion Action 10 over there, but the mouse is getting hit by Dak. The Leopard actually doesn't have the, the best DPM. It's kind of mediocre uh, with the DPM, kind of average, you know. But yeah, the accuracy, the damage, just amazing. With 469 nice damage done to the mouse over here. Luckily, we do get some spots from, uh, from someone else, I guess, because I don't believe it's actually Dak spotting through the bushes here. Maybe it is. Maybe the mouse... No, it is not actually Dak spotting. Needs to go into the bush, spot the mouse, spot the Agpens E100. But Dak is up to 6,000 damage. Unfortunately, both of the MPs died. Grill 15. Still alive towards the northeast, finishing off the Centurion Action 10, which is huge. It is huge. Shutting down the mediums over here. Just gives Dak some, some breathing room, right? Unfortunately, Lerun against the Super Conqueror, which is pushing forward, spotting Dak. Dak needs to finish off the Super Conqueror real quick into the side. Oh, maybe there we go. Getting the kill shot over here. My goodness, my goodness, FV spotted once again. There's too much going on at the same time over here. One to the FV, unfortunately that misses. I have no idea where it actually went, but do get, it does get spotted. Probably by the mouse, by the E100 inside. Oh, <laughs> this E100 just missing the 750 chunky boy gun once again. Whew. Okay, okay, down by four vehicles, still 6,000 hit point deficit. What is that going to do? Deck, EBR, and two artillery versus just a lot of vehicles. A lot of vehicles. Actually, trying to relocate, trying to find a different angle 
through the bushes. There we go. The Crown Vang is spotted on 22 hit points. Maybe we can use this amazing insurance to finish off the Crown Vang over here. Doesn't find the shell, unfortunately. There's the 100. Into the side. Go behind the bush. Put one to the side. And this is just exactly how you need to play your, your Leopard 1. 261 actually shut down the Crown Vang while the EBR shut down the T92. HMC, unfortunately, the EBR dies. Uh, to the STB1 down south. And now it is uh, Dak and the artillery against uh, a bunch of enemy vehicles. The Aquanzi 100 goes forwards. Oh no, it's, he's a three shot here. This is not good. Two shots, maybe the artillery. Maybe the artillery can put one in. Make him one shot. That is the only chance over here, pretty much. Artillery actually hits the Yangpanzer E100, and now, oh my goodness, that can finish them off. Unfortunately, the GW 100 that hit that Yangpanzer E100 got shot down by the FV 405 going through the no plate of the mouse. So much stuff is going over here. My goodness. My goodness, I'm going to lose my voice after one battle. This is crazy. This is crazy. People in the cap circle. It's a mouse. It is most likely an E100, but it can also be uh, the FV into the cheeks of the mouse, who is not angling at all. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake by that German heavy tank. E4 pushing through the middle, trying to shut down the American tank destroyer first before going after the E100. This is just crazy stuff. It's fire on reload. Unfortunately, low rolling. 324 damage is definitely not enough. The FV is pushing through the north. They need to watch out. They need to watch out. Actually missing the E4. Oh, no. The FV misses. <laughs> well, that would have been the end of Dak if that actually hit. And now it's an easy kill on the FV45. But there's the E4. You don't want to get hit by the E4. The artillery puts one into them. If we got a high roll earlier, might have been a one shot right here. I think I'll maybe going with an HR and don't need an HR and going with a gold round once again. Luckily, the E4 misses the 261 who dips down into the river. This is just crazy stuff. E4 dies. And now from. Who? What was it? A 2v7? 3v7? Something like that. I don't even know. I don't even know. Down to a 2v2. One to the low page of the 100. Delicious stuff over here. Only five gold rounds remaining though. Do need to watch out. Even though, like I said, the standard rounds are definitely enough in, in most cases, right? Especially when the E100 just gives you the side, gives you the rear. The 261 has no more ammo, as you can see in the chat, and she says ammunition is empty. So, yeah, 261. The E100 flipping, what is going on in this game? It doesn't seem like the E100 flipped over completely. And then we go into the side, trying to catch the side of the E100, can't actually find it. Oh no, two gold rounds remaining. E100 is pushing forwards. You do need to watch out. He can actually one shot. He can actually one shot Dak over here with the high roll. Dak hits the track, does damage, and now goes through the lower plate. Yes! Crazy. Crazy stuff so far. 12,379 damage. 12,379. That is the, 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 crazy. Absolutely crazy stuff, but now it's a Dak on 826 hit points, and the 261, that is actually out of shells, like we saw in the chat earlier. Uh, so yeah, how are we going to deal with this one? We actually know the STB one is not a bot, it's not AFK, because it did shut down DBR earlier, right? So, where is that S Well, it might be a bot, but he's not AFK. It's not like they're disconnected, it's not like they're not in the battle. They are here somewhere. They are here somewhere. Unfortunately, the 261 doesn't have shells, like I said. So it's all up to Dak. 10 shells. 7 HE. Urgh, what are we going to do over here? There's the SCP-1 on 500 hit points, luckily. There we go. One shot in the SCP-1. Leaving the SCP-1 on 75 hit points. All you need is one HE round, and it'll finish him off into the side of the SCP-1. It can't actually hit. Just wait. Just wait and shoot when he crosses. Oh, no. Oh, no. This one actually catches. Actually catches Dak again, and now it's a one shot and a one shot, and the 261 doesn't have any shells. Just wait. Just wait until the 261 gets a hit, and then you can easily go forwards and shoot him. Goes forwards and he tries to shut the, the STB1 actually finishes off after bouncing off the STB1 who's trying to ram the 261. Did that kill that? No, he's left on eight hit points. Eight hit points. The STB1 survives and actually wins this battle. <sighs> and yeah, this is like the heartbreak of all heartbreaks, right? Trying to go full, trying to be cheeky. <sighs> Clutch shot the STB1, actually did hit the STB1, but bounced off, did not pin. And yeah, the 261 didn't have the shell. Didn't have the shells to follow it up, unfortunately. 
So much pain. So much pain. 12,812 damage. That we've seen. There might have been more. Uh, but yeah. One very cheeky. STB1 that is left on 8 hit points. <sighs> yeah, this this actually would... Uh, I, it, it's really sad. It's really sad for me. I love the Leopard. I love this battle by Jack, you know. Going west, doing the damage. Then going towards the mill, trying to see if there's anything over there. Shooting some heavies, seeing that the heavies are overwhelmed. Falling back, holding the north, as you can see. Look at the graveyard towards the north. Jack was holding the bush line, finishing off a mouse, an E100, a Yagpanzer E100, an FE405. With the support of the artillery, they got the Kranvang, the E4. And then at the end, and then at the end, that cheeky SDB1 got the last laugh. <sighs> but yeah, GG, well played deck. This was an amazing game. Hopefully this was uh, the game that got you to 100% in your marking session. Uh, but how amazing was this game? Let's go and check the post-game stats real quick. There we go. Ace Tanker for the 1,158 base experience. A defender for actually getting uh, 100 defense points, you know, against the mouse, the E100, the Yangpanzer E100. All of those vehicles that rush the base. High caliber, I mean. <laughs> yes, 13,268 damage, so they did actually hit a blind shot uh, that we did not see, probably against the Jagdpanzer E100 in the base. So over 13,000 damage is just ridiculous. Top gun for the 7 kills. <sighs> yeah, 46 shots fired, 40 hit, 35 penetrated, crazy stuff like the you don't usually fire 46 rounds with your Leopard, so just just looking at this, it's crazy. 13,000 damage, like we said, 1,678 from a distance of more than 300 meters. Got hit seven times, six of those pins, and like I said, you shouldn't trust uh, the armor on the Leopard 1. The one non-pen was the E50M at the start, right, the bounce of the turret. But apart from that, every single shell went through, unfortunately including the last SDB1 shell, which was just, it was just painful. Uh, but yeah, three enemy vehicles spotted, 11 vehicles damaged, seven of those were destroyed, with 1,357 damage caused with Dax assistance. Losing credits, of course, I mean, even with a premium account, and making a decent profit, you know, at tier 10, when you fire so many gold rounds, you know, 40 gold rounds, I believe. And then some, and then some also resupplying consumables. Yes, losing 77,000 credits in this one battle. Uh, but getting 4,013 total experience, 400 free XP as well. Yes, unfortunately, a heartbreak, a defeat at the end there. I think Deck was a little too eager, right, to get the STB1. Uh, the right choice would have been to just wait until the STB shoots the 261. Then go forwards, take your time, hit the shot. But, you know, when you get into those situations, I can understand you and the stress, right? You are already up to 12 point something, 13 something thousand damage. You're carrying a game, you, the adrenaline is pumping. Um, so it, it, it does make sense that Dak was just going for the kill, going for the win. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, that was a misplay, and the STB1 was able to capitalize on that. So, uh, GG Iscalia in the STB1, securing the win for the enemy team and causing us a, a massive heartbreak over here. Uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. What do you think of the Leopard, by the way? Do you think it's good, bad? Uh, needs buffs, nerfs, is it good as it is? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to go and follow Dak in all of their social media channels. I will leave the uh, the links to everything in the description below. Go give them a follow. Check out their the quest, their adventure uh, on getting 100% on a lot of those vehicles. So, GG will play Dak. Lovely game. Heartbreak, like I said. This is it for this video. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. Ta-ta's!